This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to browse privately in Google Chrome. Now there are times when all of us might like to browse the internet and look at sites that we don't want others to know about, that we don't want to leave a history for, that we don't want to pick up cookies from, that we don't want to have traces left. Perhaps you're shopping for Christmas for your spouse and you don't want them to be able to look in the history and see what sites you want to buy their gifts. So if that's the case, or if there's other reasons, click the wrench icon and click on New Incognito Window. You can also get to it by hitting Control, Shift, and N. So now we've gone incognito. This very plain page, We've got a little detective guy up here, the same little guy over here. Websites that collect or share information about you, you have to be careful of those still. The pages you view in Windows won't appear in the history or the search history and they won't leave other traces like cookies on your computer after you close the incognito window. Any files you download or bookmarks you create will be preserved. So you have to keep that in mind. It won't keep track of your tracks but it'll keep track of your bookmarks and so on. So you can go to any site you want in incognito mode and you won't leave tracks. I'll go to my website just to give an example and then if you want to look at history you can see a lot of history but you don't see my website. It's gone. So when I close this incognito window it's totally gone and nothing is left in the history to show that I was any place. So this is how you can browse privately in Google Chrome and that's all there is to it.